thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a blockage removal and kind of like power movement from our solar plexus to the throat chakra. My reason for doing this is I've actually had a few clients that needed work like this done. And usually when I meet people who are kind of having the same type of issue, it makes me think that I should share it with more people. So um, that is a good way for me to be inspired to make a video that I think that other people will benefit from. So our solar plexus is um, a couple inches below our ribs, pretty much in the front. Um, it's where our personal power, willpower, drive, confidence, determination, all those really um, active and powerful um, qualities that we have kind of are, are stored or balanced or um, however you want to put it there. Are. So I have a few stones that I'm going to use and in a sense what I want to do is like bring that, that drive, that that active energy, bring it up and through um, and out our throat chakra so it can be vocalized, it can be put into action in that type of way, in a, in a, a sharing way, in a way that um, other people, other people that we're working with are able to realize what type of power we have and like express our power, whether that be for reasons of getting something creative out, whether that be of just like asserting ourselves and you know sharing what um, not only is in our mind but what we're what we're all about right now, what we're getting done, you know, because it's wonderful to have these you know little gems and stuff that are inside of us that we're working on or like secret projects or something like that. But at the same time, like we want to get those out to the world too. Um, some of the time, sometimes we want to share. So my intent is for us to be able to share the power that we have and share and express that to other people so that we we feel better when we do that. We feel more, I don't want to say we feel validated, it's definitely not what I mean, but we feel like we, we spoke our truth, like we're, you know, we're being ourselves, you know. Um, our throat chakra, you know, obviously with the throat and communication, we think of talking, but there's a lot more to communicating than just speaking or typing. There's, you know, an artistic way of communicating. There are, you know, how we dress, every our body language, everything about the way we move, the way we interact with our environment is us communicating with it. So whether, you know, this, you know, you want to dress the way you want to dress or you want to like dye your hair a crazy color or something just like I'm trying to like bring that out if that you know makes sense at this point um, so the stones that I'm going to be using today I only have three that I want to work with this is a um I believe it's like a candle shape I'm not, not going to say it right it's honey calcite honeycomb calcite so the really interesting shape here. It's obviously been carved. It doesn't like grow like this. Very solar, very um has this kind of textured look to it where it's typically calcites are very like jelly looking, I always say, where this one looks like part of a mel melted candle or something and has these white lines. I guess that's what makes it honeycomb. I pulled this a long time ago and I was just kind of drawn to it. Hang on. So that's like the bottom. And it just looks really cool when it sits. Because it just has a very interesting look to it. So that's going to be for our solar plexus. And then I have my um, blue fluorite wand, which I want to bring that energy up from our solar plexus and out. So it's a double terminated wand. You can kind of see the colors a little bit better this time than the last time I showed you this. But um, it's still not as lovely. I'll try to I'll put it on my Snapchat if you guys are following me there. I'm kind of new on Snapchat, but um, give you a better view of like the colors and stuff. This is so beautiful. It's a shame that 
the camera is not like a huge fan of these darker pieces. <laughs> well, I guess it's the light really, it's my fault. I'm working on it. And then this is a piece of Astro Firelight. And I chose this for that breaking through. It's really, I love this stone. It has this like beautiful, sorry, beautiful blue flash in it. So, these are the stones I chose to work with for our purpose. And again, my intent is just like bringing that power out in whatever way that you want, you want to express it. But it needs to be expressed. Okay, so I'm going to do a very um, mellow... clearing and use some sponge as well just a little ashy but that's okay um, I always clear my space when I'm working with energy I clear my space kind of all day long, <laughs> whether that be via sound or incense. I like to just maintain a very high energy environment. So, we're going to clear your aura. Okay, it smells really lovely. And after, well, I'll talk about it now actually. I'm going to do some tuning forks and then Reiki, distance Reiki for this purpose. But people can do their own energy work. Um, a lot of it is intention. A really great way to move energy, and you might have learned this in yoga and not really know, maybe, not they, maybe they didn't teach you what, it, what you're actually doing. But let's say you have a dominant a dominant and a less dominant hand um a receiving hand and a giving hand if you want to call it that for me my left hand is my least dominant hand and my right hand is my dominant hand so i receive with my left and i give with my right so what i would do to move the energy from my solar plexus to my throat is just place my less dominant hand on my solar plexus and my more my dominant hand on my throat and visualize and feel absorbing the energy through my arm into my heart then out my other arm and passing it to my throat so you can transfer energy in any way this this way uh, like as in in any one to the chakras whether you want to if you're very spacey and connected and you want to be grounded you can do it to be grounded or work in components like that it's really a good practice and you can do it while you're laying down and just like as you're going to bed and stuff too so it can be very soothing and you can kind of lull yourself that way so as far as tuning forks go, I'm going to start with the heart because I want to make sure that that's very open and balanced for us so that we may receive the energy from our solar plexus into our heart and then pass it to our throat. So, here we go with these. I'm just going to do like a balancing shape, which is kind of the figure eight.
the solar plexus. balancing technique. I know that I've spoke on it before, but it's really wonderful for all sorts of things. I don't know if you are like me, you just doodle these on your math homework or whatever homework like all the time. For no reason, just because you like to. <laughs> no one told you it was all that special of a symbol, but it's like a symbol for whatever reason we all know. <laughs> I mean, surely I had seen it somewhere, so like I pulled it out of thin air, but um, it's just very nice to draw. So, if you're feeling stressed, and you want to close your eyes, you can move your eyes in that figure eight and stop and go back maybe the other way and it can be very soothing when you're in a stressful situation it's kind of in line with the emdr i think it's called eye movement i have to look up the name again i think it's emdr said it a few times, but again, my intent is to bring that confidence, willpower, self-expression, or up and through so that we can have easy self-expression and not feel judged by that or uh, just to 
remove the judgment blockages, which we did with the heart, so that that your true self, your powerful self, the you, can be expressed by whatever medium you may struggle with, or or all of them, or just make things a little easier for you to be yourself, but not to be yourself that pleases everyone, but to be yourself that's your true you. There's an art to being adaptable to the people that you're around and, you know, um, being well-liked and not creating waves. There's, there are times for that where, you know, if you want things to be mellow and you're not gonna maybe get in like a political argument or, you know, like something that could, there's always a time to be just kind of chill, you know, but for the most part, just letting our true selves out and again like the confidence and things like that is just so hugely important to the people that we are that's it goes along with life purpose you know like letting that out and um yeah so that's my intention i'd recommend for anyone watching it who would like to receive this energy to um say to yourself you know in your head or out loud that you accept this um well-intended um, energy session for, you know, the good of all um, and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to do a little aura brushing and then we'll get to the um, distance we can. Actually feels pretty clear, I think, from the tuning fork, so <laughs> doesn't need too much. If you're interested in tuning fork sounds, there's lots of them on YouTube for you to check out. Or healing frequencies in general. There's some really beautiful singing bowl or Tibetan singing bowl or crystal singing bowl videos, meditations that are on here that are just so wonderful. I'm so grateful that there's just such a wealth of <clears throat> resources for things like that right at your fingertips. Just like no one's left out anymore. <laughs> okay. So you're, you feel pretty good already. but it still feels nice to have your aura combed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get right to our distance right here now. So I'll be focusing on your heart first again, then the solar plexus, then throat, so. Sometimes you can feel kind of like tingles or bubbly sensations when you're getting distance right here. Sometimes it's more of a twitching or numbness, um, like pins and needles numbness. Sometimes you don't feel anything. Sometimes you feel warmth or cold or something like that. It just depends on how sensitive you are to energy, but I would say don't try to feel something. Like don't like look for something. Just you'll know if you feel it. <laughs> and you'll just know by how you feel throughout the day over the next few days, so. And Reiki does build up, so getting more Reiki, watching these videos more does benefit. It, it like, increases the volume of energy you're receiving, so. All right, so we're gonna start at the heart. And. I focus on the balancing of it for non-judgment purposes. Of course, judging yourself. And when we're judging other people, we are judging it because we judge ourselves. It's incredible how natural it comes to us to be so judgmental. It's very 
I accepted and it's just really bizarre in a sense. It's not very true to our spiritual natures. So <clears throat> removing judgment is huge. So for this I'm focusing on specifically at first the getting through space and time aspect in the sense that maybe the past, our, our past selves needs to let go of something or see something differently or learn, maybe who we are now needs to learn from the judgmental judgment we've experienced in our lives and judgment we've then passed on to other people. To learn and heal from that and then focusing on the emotional aspect of healing the heart and the spiritual aspects on your solar plexus and really move and feel that power feel it move and stir and spin and just it's so powerful there's so much power in all of us <clears throat> I see this like sparkling strong energy it's so like multi-dimensional or multi-direct and multi-directional it's just it can be focused in any way so it's just where you focus it is what's gonna grow and So again, I'm focusing on healing the past. Healing the, the emotional aspects of our solar plexus where our confidence may have been shaken, where we've had days of stagnancy and feeling of laziness or wanting to kind of just give up and settle that's not what we're gonna do but we all have our days so just feel the power there the power that is in all of us it's warm like sunshine So now I'm going to move my more dominant hand up to the throat area and move that energy from the solar plexus. Your solar plexus will not run out of energy or anything, so please don't think that, but just moving it through the heart, passing non-judgment and into the throat where that can be expressed where you can be yourself where you can share and communicate in any way you choose to with like-minded individuals or even not like-minded individuals but just express and be yourself
So again, I'm going to be focusing on healing the past in our throat chakras, healing on emotional and spiritual levels, and then physical as well. a little balancing. Okay. And there we go. So I hope that you found that beneficial. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we can all benefit from that once in a while. Um, please let me know if you like this type of video because I have a few more um, people who have been contacting me for different things. And I really enjoy these specific um, requests, like specific needs. So once, you know, I've kind of I'm done with my chakra series, so now I can work on things that are more um, unique um, to what everyone is going through, you know? So I have a few ideas and I'm going to be doing videos like this, but I appreciate a thumbs up if you like it, let me know, and if you can't stand it, let me know. I also have a little update from my channel. I'm starting a new channel, which will be more of the ones where I talk or I talk about different um, things that might not be as ASMR related. Um, still in line with what I like to talk about. Um, things that I share, um, they could be related to food, holistic practices, energy, um, books, like all kinds of stuff like that. So it's more like a blog, I guess you could say, or blog or whatever. I hate that word. Um, <laughs> I'm judging it. <laughs> or um, something like that. But I, I'm going to keep um, this one to be more like things that might you might experience more triggers from. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support again. I just love you guys so much. Um, and, you know, namaste.